Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Travis Dykes. On today's episode of Teach Me That, we are going over some ways to improve your slap bass techniques. If you want the tabs for this, feel free to check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. And before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified when the newest videos are uploaded. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll jump into the lesson. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this. The main thing that you need to learn when it comes to cleaning up your slap bass tone is muting. And with muting, we get this technique called ghost notes. If you ever heard of ghost notes, I, mean, I have videos on it. You can go check it out one of my older videos on ghost notes. It's a really simple concept of where you play the string with your right hand, but you don't press down on the fret with your left. And you get this sound like this. All right, and it makes it very percussive so you can kind of like, almost like make little grooves on your own. On slap bass, this is very, very important to create some really groovy licks because you're already percussive with just the slap itself. What this does is add another level of percussiveness to your slaps. So watch this. adds a little bit more. So watch this, I'm gonna play this little power chord, let me show you how it transforms it. So super simple uh, power chord, all a power chord is is a one, a five, and a one. Okay, so it's just gonna be one, five, and one. Okay, that's all I'm gonna be playing. Now watch this. So now let's add some slap muted ghost notes to it. Isn't that crazy? Literally, just adding the little ghost notes right there just changed the whole vibe of that power chord. Now it sounds kind of like a, a bass line or a groove. So we're gonna learn a couple of different ways of how to utilize this with our right and left hand. First, we're gonna learn how to slap a ghost note. So it's just like if you slapped a regular note. Right now I'm slapping A flat. All I'm gonna do is just left up on my left hand to where it mutes it. Now watch this, I'm gonna slap and it's just on there enough to mute it. Hear that? It's muted. And that's literally how you do a little slap bass mute. That's it, okay? Now, you could do a pop mute like this, same way. It's just you pop, just like, that's normal. With the mute it, just lift it up on your finger a little bit to where it's not pressing down. Okay, now you have this. That's a slap, pop, slap, pop, both muted, just my hands resting on it. And so that is literally it, that's how, how it works. So the first way we're gonna clean up our slap bass lines is through using doubles. And this is gonna be doubles with the ghost note. And all a double is, is where you play two times with your right hand, but on the second time you're gonna actually open up and press the note, so watch this. Boom. You see that? That's all it is. So now I'm gonna play that power chord. Seems pretty cool, right? And that's just doubles. So all doubles are is that. Literally just play a ghost one time and then actually slap the note and press that on the second. So now another way you can use doubles is you could do it with a hammer on. So if you did it with a hammer on, let me show you. Watch this. So now you have four different hits happening. So watch this, it's just gonna be double, and then I'm going hammer on from my flat seven to the one, and then I'm doing it for the, the five, four to five, and then hammer on there I'm from flat seven to one again. So you get this sound. Those are your doubles with the hammer on. Doubles are something that I use, especially with the hammer on, all the time, okay? In, in almost every bass slide, every time I slap, I'll always somehow get to using the doubles, okay? So watch this. 
So if you had a pop in there, it kind of takes it to another level. Watch this. So now let's talk about triplets. Pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's exactly the same type of technique as what we just did with doubles, but you just add an extra hit. So you got one, two, three, and then it, you press on the last one. One, two, three. Okay. All right, so now watch this. I'm gonna play the same groove. I will say, when playing it like that, it kind of sounds like, kind of cheesy, like a horse, you know, trotting. But that's not how I use it at all. But I just want you to know exactly uh, just the basic way of using it. So now we're gonna add the hammer on to it. Now watch this. All right, now let me show you how this will work in a groove. So watch. So now you can also mix the doubles in with the triplets. Now watch this. So now we've just transformed this power chord into something that's kind of actually kind of cool. Yeah. So now watch this. If you started using this to start using the pentatonic scale, so I'm in A flat, I'm kind of doing the A flat minor pentatonic scale right now, so. So all I'm doing is I'm playing a slap pop, normal slap pop, and then a triplet right there. So one, two, three, and then this and just going up the minor pentatonic. And I'm just literally going up the minor pentatonic scale, just adding a triplet in there. Okay, but you see how crazy and how quickly you could just lock in your bass line so fast with this. The next technique I'm gonna show you is using thirds. If you never used thirds before, if you don't know what thirds are, I have a video on thirds. You could go check it out. It's under my Teach Me That. Basically breaking down exactly what thirds are. And if you don't know what thirds are, I'll give you just a little, just a little brief rundown. If you know your number system and you're in the major scale, you're playing that major scale, so we're in A flat. Basically, what you're gonna do is play your third. Your third is the third note. One, two, three. And so when you play a third, and when it comes to playing chords, major and minor chords, the third is what makes it major or minor. So you could, if you play just a straight one and three, let me play it higher so it's not muddy. You play a one straight one and three, you get a, like a, it sounds like a major chord. But if you flat this three, this third note, you get a minor chord sound. So watch. Okay, so now the way this helps us out when it comes to slap is that it gives it a really cool color and just tone when it comes to playing this. You have to make sure you're playing, you know, with a major chord or a minor chord because that's what it goes over. So if you're playing a major, you play, you know, basically with, with that just regular straight third and then you take it down one fret for a minor, if it's depending on what fret it is, okay? Depending on what note it is that you're going to. So instead of playing it, but we don't play it necessarily like this, you know, do our slaps like that because it's really muddy and it's like, uh, it's too low. We just take it up an octave, which is the two by two rule, up two frets, down two strings, and you play, and that's the octave. And so now this is our, what our third sounds like. Like that, so it's the E string and the G string. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use it and slap. We're just gonna slap it. And I'm doing it one note at a time. So here's the major scale walking it up. So now what we could do with this 
is really it's really crazy fun. But you can you can like so say we're playing. I was playing an A flat minor before. So that means that my A flat's gonna be a minor third. Okay. And then when I go up here, because we every time I go, I play a minor for myself. I think of it as the six. So the six of whatever key I'm in. So so really I'm in the key of B. So that means my B would be a one. And so my seven right here, that would be, you know, a minor. So watch this. So now if I play a groove. It's got this, it sounds like you're playing the chord and it's like, it sounds cool though. You know, it sounds like it's vibe and it's this, and I'm, and you, I don't know if you could tell when I was just playing that, that example, I'm using what I'm using those muting. I'm using those mutes and I, also hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you liked and subscribed to this video yet? Because I don't know if you're ever going to get a chance to like or subscribe again. So I would definitely go ahead and like and subscribe now. Anyways, if you like the video, go ahead and like it and subscribe. Let's get back to it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm playing this groove and I'm using those, you, you can already tell it's coming naturally because it's what my, my mind's thinking about with drums and stuff. I'm using my doubles and I'm using my triplets to get those. You see that? See, I'm already applying it to everything I'm doing. Just that easy. And so that's how you use your thirds. So the next one I want to go over is fifths. And basically it's the same thing, same concept. It's kind of like the uh, thirds, but it's a, the way you play it is a little bit different. It's going to be kind of a little bit of a lower sound. So if I were to play fifths, so the fifth of my A flat is right here. The fifth of any note that I play is going to be, it's the two by one rule. It's up two frets down one string and you get the fifth of whatever note that you're on. The one thing with this particular technique that's really cool is that it kind of gives it that chord feel too, but it's a little bit deeper and you kind of, I hear, you probably hear this a lot in rock when they're playing like, you know, chords like. Okay, so a lot of rock players use a lot of fifths, but you could use this in funk, you could use this in gospel. I use it in slap a lot. But, and that's just me using it on the lower side. You can use it on the higher side. So the way I would utilize this when it comes to playing is literally just if i'm playing a groove and you want to add something to it you know and you're just like oh man i'm just tired of it just being like so just remember it's not always going to work with every bass line so you got to figure out which one if it sounds cool or if it's like eh, you know it's not good because it's just like with every technique you just have to have and know when it's going to when it's going to sound cool and sometimes it does and sometimes it's like eh, that sounds whack let's you know do something else so take all these techniques for what they're worth because they can transform your slap bass lines when it comes to any style of music so the key takeaway from today is to practice your muting muting is a really really big part of slapping it's a really big part of bass and just in general but when it comes to slapping it really 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 cleans up the way you play. If you have any questions about any of the things I covered in today's video, feel free to drop a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram at T Dykes. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified when the newest videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.